Lassen Volcanic National Park is an American national park in northeastern California. The dominant feature of the park is Lassen Peak, the largest plug dome volcano in the world and the southernmost volcano in the Cascade Range. Lassen Volcanic National Park started as two separate national monuments designated by President Theodore Roosevelt in 1907, Cinder Cone National Monument and Lassen Peak National Monument. The source of heat for the volcanism in the Lassen area is subduction of the Gorda Plate diving below the North American Plate off the northern California coast. The area surrounding Lassen Peak is still active with boiling mud pots, fumaroles, and hot springs. Lassen Volcanic National Park is one of the few areas in the world where all four types of volcano can be found plug dome, shield, cinder cone, and stratovolcano. The park is accessible via State Routes 89 and 44. State Route 89 passes north south through the park, beginning at SR 36 to the south and ending at State Route 44 to the north. State Route 89 passes immediately adjacent to the base of Lassen Peak. There are five vehicle entrances to the park, the north and south entrances on State Route 89, and unpaved roads entering at Drake's Bad and Juniper Lake in the south, and at Butte Lake in the northeast. The park can also be accessed by trails leading in from the Caribou Wilderness to the east, as well as the Pacific Crest Trail, and two smaller trails leading in from Willow Lake and Little Willow Lake to the south. The Lassen Chalet, a large lodge with concession facilities, was located near the southwest entrance, but was demolished in 2005. A new full-service visitor center in the same location opened to the public in 2008. The Lassen Ski Area was located near the lodge, it ceased operation in 1992 and all infrastructure has been removed. History Native Americans have inhabited the area since long before white settlers first saw Lassen. The natives knew that the peak was full of fire and water and thought it would one day blow itself apart. White immigrants in the mid 19th century used Lassen Peak as a landmark on their trek to the fertile Sacramento Valley. One of the guides to these immigrants was a Danish blacksmith named Peter Lassen, who settled in Northern California in the 1830s. Lassen Peak was named after him. Noble's Emigrant Trail was later cut through the park area and past Cinder Cone and the Fantastic Lava Beds. Inconsistent newspaper accounts reported by witnesses from 1850 to 1851 described seeing fire thrown to a terrible height and burning lava running down the sides in the area of Cinder Cone. As late as 1859, a witness reported seeing fire in the sky from a distance, attributing it to an eruption. Early geologists and volcanologists who studied the cinder cone concluded the last eruption occurred between 1675 and 1700. After the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, the United States Geological Survey USGS began reassessing the potential risk of other active volcanic areas in the Cascade Range. Further study of cinder cone estimated the last eruption occurred between 1630 and 1670. Recent tree ring analysis has placed the date at 1666. The Lassen area was first protected by being designated as the Lassen Peak Forest Preserve. Lassen Peak and Cinder Cone were later declared as U.S. national monuments in May 1907 by President Theodore Roosevelt. Starting in May 1914 and lasting until 1921, a series of minor to major eruptions occurred on Lassen. These events created a new crater, and released lava and a great deal of ash. Fortunately, because of warnings, no one was killed, but several houses along area creeks were destroyed. Because of the eruptive activity, which continued through 1917, and the area's stark volcanic beauty, Lassen Peak, Cinder Cone and the area surrounding were declared a national park on August 9, 1916. The 29-mile main park road was constructed between 1925 and 1931, just 10 years after Lassen Peak erupted. Near Lassen Peak the road reaches 8,512 feet 2 meters, making it the highest road in the Cascade Mountains. It is not unusual for 40 feet 12 meters of snow to accumulate on the road near Lake Helen and for patches of snow to last into July. In October 1972, a portion of the park was designated as Lassen Volcanic Wilderness by the U.S. Congress Public Law 92-511. 
The National Park Service seeks to manage the wilderness in keeping with the Wilderness Act of 1964, with minimal developed facilities, signage, and trails. The management plan of 2003 adds that, "...the wilderness experience offers a moderate to high degree of challenge and adventure." In 1974, the National Park Service took the advice of the USGS and closed the visitor center and accommodations at Manzanita Lake. The survey stated that these buildings would be in the way of a rockslide from Chaos Crags if an earthquake or eruption occurred in the area. An aging seismograph station remains. However, a campground, store, and museum dedicated to Benjamin F. Loomis stands near Manzanita Lake, welcoming visitors who enter the park from the northwest entrance. After the Mount St. Helens eruption, the USGS intensified its monitoring of active and potentially active volcanoes in the Cascade Range. Monitoring of the Lassen area includes periodic measurements of ground deformation and volcanic gas emissions and continuous transmission of data from a local network of nine seismometers to USGS offices in Menlo Park, California. Should indications of a significant increase in volcanic activity be detected, the USGS will immediately deploy scientists and specially designed portable monitoring instruments to evaluate the threat. In addition, the National Park Service NPS has developed an emergency response plan that would be activated to protect the public in the event of an impending eruption. The NPS tracks visitors by counting vehicles entering the park via in-road inductive loops at all vehicle entrances. Buses and other non-reportable vehicles are subtracted from the vehicle count, which is then multiplied by three, an estimate of the number of visitors per vehicle. Geography, geology and climate The park is located near the northern end of the Sacramento Valley. The western part of the park features great lava pinnacles huge mountains created by lava flows, jagged craters, and steaming sulfur vents. It is cut by glaciated canyons and is dotted and threaded by lakes and rushing clear streams. The eastern part of the park is a vast lava plateau more than 1 mile kilometers above sea level. Here, small cinder cones are found, Fairfield Peak, Hat Mountain, and Crater Butte. Forested with pine and fir, this area is studded with small lakes, but it boasts few streams. Warner Valley, marking the southern edge of the Lassen Plateau, features hot spring areas Boiling Springs Lake, Devil's Kitchen, and Terminal Geyser. This forested, steep valley also has large meadows that have wildflowers in spring. Lassen Peak is made of dacite, an igneous rock, and is one of the world's largest plug dome volcanoes. It is also the southernmost non-extinct volcano of the Cascade Range specifically, the Shasta Cascade part of the range, 10,457-foot tall volcano sits on the northeast flank of the remains of Mount Tahama, a stratovolcano that was 1,000 feet meters higher than Lassen and 11 to 15 miles 18 to 24 kilometers wide at its base. After emptying its throat and partially doing the same to its magma chamber in a series of eruptions, Tahama either collapsed into itself and formed a 2-mile wide caldera in the late Pleistocene or was simply eroded away with the help of acidic vapors that loosened and broke the rock, which was later carried away by glaciers. On the other side of the present caldera is Brokoff Mountain 9,235 feet or 2,815 meters, which is an erosional remnant of Mount Tahama and the second highest peak in the park. Mount Conrad, Mount Diller, and Pilot Pinnacle are also remnant peaks around the caldera. Sulphur Works is a geothermal area in between Lassen Peak and Brokoff Mountain that is thought to mark an area near the center of Tahama's now gone cone. Other geothermal areas in the caldera are Little Hot Springs Valley, Diamond Point an old lava conduit, and Bumpass Hell see geothermal areas in Lassen Volcanic National Park. The magma that fuels the volcanoes in the park is derived from subduction off the coast of Northern California. Cinder Cone and the Fantastic Lava Beds, located about 10 miles 16 kilometers northeast of Lassen Peak, is a cinder cone volcano and associated lava flow field that last erupted about 1650. It created a series of basaltic andesite to andesite lava flows known as the Fantastic Lava Beds. There are four shield volcanoes in the park, Mount Harkness southwest corner of the park, Red Mountain at south-central boundary, Prospect Peak in northeast corner, and Raker Peak north of Lassen Peak. 
All of these volcanoes are 7,000 to 8,400 feet to meters above sea level and each is topped by a cinder cone volcano. During ice ages, glaciers have modified and helped to erode the older volcanoes in the park. The center of snow accumulation and therefore ice radiation was Lassen Peak, Red Mountain, and Raker Peak. These volcanoes thus show more glacial scarring than other volcanoes in the park. Despite not having any glaciers currently, Lassen Peak does have 14 permanent snowfields. Since the entire park is located at medium to high elevations, the park generally has cool cold winters and warm summers below 7,500 feet meters. Above this elevation, the climate is harsh and cold, with cool summer temperatures. Precipitation within the park is high to very high due to a lack of a rain shadow from the coast ranges. The park gets more precipitation than anywhere else in the Cascades south of the Three Sisters. Snowfall at the new visitor center near the southwest entrance at 6,700 feet meters is around 430 inches 1, centimeters despite facing east. Up around Lake Helen, at 8,200 feet 2, meters, the snowfall is around 600 to 700 inches 1, to 1, centimeters, making it probably the snowiest place in California. In addition, Lake Helen gets more average snow accumulation than any other recording station located near a volcano in the Cascade Range, with a maximum of 178 inches 450 centimeters. Snowbanks persist year-round. Below are the climate data for Manzanita Lake, located near the National Park entrance. Plants Lying at the northern end of the Sierra Nevada forests ecoregion, Lassen Volcanic National Park preserves a landscape nearly as it existed before Euro-American settlement. Its 27,130 acres (10,980 hectares) of old growth include all of its major forest types. At elevations below 6,500 feet, the dominant vegetation community is the mixed conifer forest. Ponderosa and Jeffrey pines, sugar pine, and white fir form the forest canopy for this rich community that also includes species of manzanita, gooseberry, and ceanothus. Common wildflowers include iris, spotted coralroot, pyrola, violets, and lupin. Above the mixed conifer forest is the major community of the red fir forest. Between elevations of 6,500 and 8,000 feet, red fir, western white pine, mountain hemlock, and lodgepole pine dominate a community less diverse than the mixed conifer forest. Common plants include satin lupine, woolly mule's ears and pine mat manzanita. Subalpine areas include the upper limit for the growth of standing trees. From 8,000 feet to treeline, plants are fewer in overall number with exposed patches of bare ground providing a harsh environment. Rock spirea, lupin, Indian paintbrush, and penstemon are a few of the rugged members of this community. Trees in this community include whitebark pine and mountain hemlock. Wildlife <inaudible> 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 Species that are typically found in these forested areas are black bear, red fox, mule deer, marten, cougar, brown creeper, a variety of chipmunk species, raccoon, mountain chickadee, pika, a variety of squirrel species, white-headed woodpecker, coyote, bobcat, weasel, a variety of mouse species, long-toed salamander, skunk, and a wide variety of bat species. Geology. <laughs> Formation of basement rocks In the Cenozoic, uplifting and westward tilting of the Sierra Nevada along with extensive volcanism generated huge lahars volcanic -derived mud flows in the Pliocene which became the Tuscan Formation. This formation is not exposed anywhere in the national park but it is just below the surface in many areas. Also in the Pliocene, basaltic flows erupted from vents and fissures in the southern part of the park. These and later flows covered increasingly large areas and built a lava plateau. In the later Pliocene and into the Pleistocene, these basaltic flows were covered by successive thick and fluid flows of andesite lava, which geologists call the Juniper Lalas and the Twin Lakes Lalas. 
The Twin Lakes lava is black, porphyritic and has abundant xenocrysts of quartz see cinder cone. Another group of andesite lava flows called the Flatiron, erupted during this time and covered the southwestern part of the park's area. The park by this time was a relatively featureless and large lava plain. Subsequently, the eastern basalt flows erupted along the eastern boundary of what is now the park, forming low hills that were later eroded into rugged terrain. Volcanoes rise Pyroclastic eruptions then started to pile tephra into cones in the northern area of the park. Mount Tahama also known as Brokoff volcano, rose as a stratovolcano in the southwestern corner of the park during the Pleistocene. It was made of roughly alternating layers of andesitic lalas and tephra volcanic ash, breccia, and pumice with increasing amounts of tephra with elevation. At its height, Tahama was probably about 11,000 feet 3, meters high. Approximately 350,000 years ago its cone collapsed into itself and formed a 2-mile wide caldera after it emptied its throat and partially did the same to its magma chamber in a series of eruptions. One of these eruptions occurred where Lassen Peak now stands, and consisted of fluid, black, glassy dacite, which formed a layer 1,500 feet 460 meters thick outcroppings of which can be seen as columnar rock at Lassen's base. During glacial periods ice ages of the present Wisconsin and glaciation, glaciers have modified and helped to erode the older volcanoes in the park, including the remains of Tahama. Many of these glacial features, deposits and scars, however, have been covered up by tephra and avalanches, or were destroyed by eruptions. Roughly 27,000 years ago older data gave an age of 18,000 years, Lassen Peak started to form as a decite lava dome quickly pushed its way through Tahama's destroyed northeastern flank. As the lava dome pushed its way up, it shattered overlaying rock, which formed a blanket of talus around the emerging volcano. Lassen rose and reached its present height in a relatively short time, probably in as little as a few years. Lassen Peak has also been partially eroded by Ice Age glaciers, at least one of which extended as much as 7 miles 11 kilometers from the volcano itself. Since then, smaller decite domes formed around Lassen. The largest of these, Chaos Crags, is just north of Lassen Peak. Phreatic steam explosion eruptions, decite and andesite lava flows and cinder cone formation have persisted into modern times. There are active hot springs and mud pots in the Lassen area. Some of these springs are the site of occurrence of certain extremophile microorganisms, that are capable of surviving in extremely hot environments. See also Geothermal areas in Lassen Volcanic National Park List of national parks of the United States National Register of Historic Places listings in Lassen Volcanic National Park Protected Areas of the United States Volcanic Legacy Scenic Byway Footnotes <laughs>